I'm back. I am finally sitting down in front of the camera again. No more travel for a little bit. So good to be back for my favorite season, Halloween. This is my costume. I'm a homeless little maniac. They look just like everyone else. Hi, it's Tybug, and welcome back to the channel. So as you can tell, this is a Halloween video. I'm here with Scully, and I'm going to be doing a makeup look. So for Halloween, I'm going to be a monarch butterfly, which is, you know, kind of stereotypical, like it's an easy Halloween costume to do. But I've never been a butterfly, and I really want to be a butterfly now. But since the costume is so simple, I want to do a really, like, extravagant, avant-garde, blah-in-your-face butterfly look. So I've been looking up some on Pinterest and um, just online, and I think I found one that I want to work off of. So I will put that right over here or up here or wherever I have room and let's get started. So to start off with, I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. eyeshadow primer. My mirror is right here so I'll be looking off to this side. And my windows are open so if you can hear birds treeping, treeping, tweeting, that's them. I'm going to go in with this fluffy Sephora Pro Cream Shadow Brush. Wow, I've never read these before. It's 28. I like got this years and years ago, so I have no idea if they still sell this. And I'm going to go into this undisclosed uh, Morphe palette. And I'm going to go in with this yellow. Don't know the name of it. It's not on the back, so it's just yellow. And I'm going to put this in the inner part of my eyelid. And since I have tan skin, it doesn't really show up that well. So maybe I should have used like a white eyeshadow base. I don't know. There's this one thing in my videos, I wonder if you guys can tell that I don't try things out before I do it on here because I think that's like inauthentic. It helps when you see someone trying out because then you can like see what works and what doesn't work. And then you can go from what works so you don't have to like go experimenting and stuff. Oh, I forgot to say this. I have my base on already. so like on my face makeup. And when I want to change colors, I usually just wipe it off on my arm. No, that's not hygienic or whatever, but it's just me. So I think that's enough yellow. I'll go back in with some more later to uh, punch up the color. Then I'm going to get this orange here, and I'm going to put that on the outer part because, you know, Monarch Butterfly, yellow and orange and a little bit of red. We'll get into that red later. I'm not trying to start drama or anything, but like... Where's the pigment? Why is it so chalky? Ah, I hate it. You know what? The big part of this makeup look is going to be the eyeliner. And then I'm going to go in with some little gems to like jazz it up or whatever. And like have some pow in your face eyelashes. But the eyeshadow would have made this like all come together. So it's kind of sad that this isn't paying off. I don't have any other eyeshadow to use though. And I'm going to bring this orange into the crease. And that's making the yellow look gross. So that's sad. But hello? Where is everything? This yellow is like looking like mustard more and more. And I don't like mustard. Anyways, I think that's, I really can't stand the way this yellow looks. That's sad. That's very sad. Um, okay, let's maybe go into like a little bit, this like burnt red, this burnt orange red color. And we're just gonna tap off all the chalk and put that on the little outer corner. Oh, I should have used a different brush for this. Oh well. And hi, yes, I know the camera's right there, but all my mirrors are over here. Should I do it like this? But then you can't see, so I'll do it like this. And then I won't look at you. Ah! This, this orange is making this yellow look better, but then I have that other orange up here that's like, oh, I don't actually gagged. <laughs> that's like not that great. See, this is 
the first hand experience that you guys are getting because I haven't tried this out before. Let's wing it out a little bit because butterflies have wings. I'm finally going to go to a different brush because this brush ain't cut in it. This palette is good for like color options, but what if? For when it first came out, it was great, but like the more I use it, oh my god, what happened? Did I have color on that already? Because now it's brown. Oh my god, I did have color on it. Oh my god. I just ruined it. Oh no! Look at how brown that was! Okay, well now there's brown in the crease. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh my god. No. This doesn't look good. This doesn't look good at all. Not at all. Okay, stop while you're ahead. I have the Jenna Marbles too much gene. <laughs> But should I keep going though? Oh yeah, I was gonna wing it out. That's what I was working on. Let's bring that up to the brow bone. Cause we can. Cause it says avant-garde. And we can do whatever we want. Also at Halloween, people don't really care about what your makeup looks like all that much. They're like, oh, you were looking for the sloppy butterfly look? Cool, you nailed it. It kinda looks like a butterfly. <gasps> You gotta go through the bushes and thorns and brambles to get to the meadow, okay? I didn't know where I was going with that metaphor, so it took me a little bit to find it. <laughs> As you can tell. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, I actually like that. I don't know how I did that, but I like it. So gonna click off my excess on the brushes close this for now Scully what do you think so far I agree it did turn out great yeah I can totally hear you my iPad that I was gonna use to look at my source material is still dead so we're winging it get it <laughs> I hated that joke too, don't worry. <laughs> but I still thought it was hilarious. Okay, so I'm going in with my Love Liner Eyeliner from Japan. You can look at it in my haul video. And this is my Jasmine one in True Black. And this is what the face, this is what the brush looks like. It's very nice, I like it. But I don't know how I'll get more once I run out. So I'm gonna do a very tight line on the top and then I'm not gonna wing it out yet. And I'm going to drag that in towards my inner eye to get more dramatization. Should I go like Maddie Perez, Euphoria, inner eyeliner? Why not? Who is stopping me? Someone should have. <laughs> There's like an inner wink. <laughs> we can save this. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna stop real quick to look at my source material because this is gonna go downhill real fast. I'm gonna look at source material because I was looking at my video and if it was doing weird audio things beforehand, I don't know what was going on. I closed the window so if that was what was happening. <gasps> There's a butterfly outside my window! Oh my god, this is so fortuitous! It's a... Hi, butterfly. I'm doing you. It's a monarch butterfly too. Oh my god, there are tears in my eyes. Oh my god. Ah! I forgot what I was talking about. Um, butterfly makeup look? Let's keep going. Okay, we got two wings. My hands are shaking. Okay, that's the top of the wing. Please, I need the source material. But you know what? This will be me. This will be all me. 
All I have is the image in my head. That's scary. Not bad, not bad. Work off of it, work off of it. Okay, Whew. <laughs> Gotta like shake off the nerves. Look at that butterfly just floating around outside. Ow! <laughs> okay world, I get it, calm down. How in the, am I gonna do this on the other eye is my question. Cute. Hi, do you come here often? Yes, I do, this is my room. Okay, so you see like how there's a wing right there, so it's gonna be like all twisty-turby with like a outside look, if that makes sense. You can't see at all, I'm so sorry, but like, it's part of the creative process. We're free hand! And this ain't straight, but who is? Every mistake is an opportunity for a new curve. Sorry, I can't even speak because I'm not even breathing. <laughs> Breathe. <laughs> I should do like a top part here, huh? Yeah, because that looks a little too straight. Every mistake is an opportunity for a new curve, Ty. I guess I have no choice now. It looks very sketchy up close, but from far away, does it look good? Please tell me it looks good, otherwise I'll cry. Am I digging this? This was more like curvy than I thought I was gonna make it, but my hand does what the hand does. Like if you want to, you can like carve it out with your um, concealer, but I'm kind of lazy, so I ain't gonna do that. So I think there's one wing. <gasps> my i my iPod just turned on now. The universe is working very hard today. <laughs> <laughs> now, I got this cool little gizmo here that I can use to accent the parts that don't have eyeshadow. Wonder Swipe by Rimmel London in the shade... Oh wow, shake well before use. So I don't know what shade it is, but it's this shade, this shade, an orange, bronzy, whatever shade. This looks gorgeous. I'm so proud of myself. Yeah. <laughs> don't do that. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm just doing the top parts of like the arches, not the bottom parts. So it's like a, it's kind of shadowing, but not really. I don't know what else to call it though. This is also like working to clean up my edges. So that's nice. I'm so proud of myself. Oh, but it's not even Halloween yet, so I don't, well, it's Halloween when I'm posting this, but today it's not Halloween, so I'm gonna have to do this again. But by then, when I do it again, it's gonna be so much better. Positivity, you know what? Am I filming? I really hope I'm filming, because that'd be so sad if I wasn't filming. 
Let me just spray this down real quick for my next dewy finish. I just sprayed one half of my face. Am I a butterfly? Ma? What do you think, Scully? How's it look? Cute. Okay. I'm going to cut so I can do the other eye, then we will come back for lashes, highlighter, lips, eyebrow, gems. And here's the other eye. It looks, I love it. I love it so much. So next is, I think eyebrows. I mean, some people do eyebrows first, but I usually do eyebrows last. I'm just going to do some eyebrows now, and I want them bushy. So I'm going to brush them up. I'm using my Essence Make Me Brow. Okay, so I'm going to put on a thin coat of the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. I'm not the biggest fan of this mascara, but it does the job. Now for these. I need to trim them, and then I don't think you guys really need to see me putting them on, so I'll just do like a little... Okay, so that'll be this now. Fake lashes are on. I'm still getting the hang of putting on fake lashes, and this is my first time doing like big lashes. So I like it. It looks really nice. So yeah, so if it, you can like see the gap between my eyelashes, don't say anything, please. I'm still working on it. I mean, I can't see the gap, so how can you see the gap? What is your eyesight? Okay, next is the gems. Oh, this is so fun. Let's put some gems on my eyeballs. How Yeah, I think this is a good size. So I got this gem kit from my local craft store. There are 300 of them in here, and I'm going to use the smallest gem. So I'm going to go like this, and I'm going to take a little bit of eyelash glue. When I first was thinking of doing this, I don't know why, and I know it's wrong, but every single time I thought of how I'm gonna glue this on, I got hot glue gun. And I had to berate myself very many a time, like no time. You cannot use a hot glue gun to put gems by your eyeballs. Like that should be common sense. Stick you. Wow. It's like right where my eye bags are. You know like how the clear glue is supposed to turn blue when it's ready to go on? Well, when I first put it on the thing, it looks blue and then it never gets more blue than what it's already. So I'm like, when do I put it on? So I just usually put it on right after I put the glue on. And I know that's not right because I know there's like a waiting period. This is so fun. It's like an arts and craft project on my face. And my face is beautiful. A beautiful canvas. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. I've been sitting on my heels because I feel short. But I feel like it hurts. <laughs> Should I do a big one? I really just want to use all of them. Like a big one right there. Now nah, that kind of ruins the symmetry. Should I do like a big one right there? Yes or no? I'll think about the inner corner. Actually, I kind of like it. I mean, it's Halloween. Avant-garde, let's go. If you guys tried this look out, please take a picture and send it to me on my Twitter, which will be linked down below and in the end card. But I would love to see what you guys do with like this little base look that's not even but who cares okay highlighter i got my fenty beauty kilowatt foil mimosa sunrise and sangria sunset but we're just going to use that mimosa sunrise and i just dug my finger in there it's the end of the world. And this is just gonna go on my nose, honestly. 
because I don't really have anywhere else to put it because I have all the wings on everywhere else. And I'm just going to branch that out to my eyebrows. Or maybe not. That looks weird. Whoops. Let me just rub that out with my finger. Instant regret. And then I'm just going to tap that excess on the high point of my cheekbones that are exposed. And then all it on my cupid's bow. Pretty. You're so pretty. I love you. Self confidence, yo. Okay. an orange lipstick I have this uh, airy ink velvet peripera lip stain that's kind of like a brick color but I also have this baby lips that's just an orange so I'm gonna try this first and see what the pigment is what the pigment payoff is if anything I'll just be moisturizing my lips oh, I just got that in my teeth Not enough. Not enough. I could gemify my lips. No, 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 no. This is just like such a light color. Like I wanted an intense orange. This is like I could put the highlighter on my lips. Who's to tell me no? Somebody tell me no. Nobody's telling me no. And they shouldn't have. Maybe they should have. I don't know. That is a completed look. The butterfly. I'm so happy with the way it turned out. So that is all I have for you guys. Please let me know or show me if you guys try this look out. I'm looking forward to seeing it so much. Even if it's years from now, I want to see how you guys do. Um, I love Halloween, so I just love everything about Halloween. Show me your costumes. Oh my god, that'd be so cool. Show me your costumes. What do you guys look like? Um, yeah, so that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you have a wonderful, happy Halloween. Ty and Scully signing off. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week or the week after. Bye!